What's up everybody? I know it's been a long time since I posted my last video and I was trying to get going on that thing really fast, but um, you know, other stuff comes up in life, had to step aside. Got really busy with the carbon fiber stuff for the MR2s and the Corso Concepts project, um, which is now done. I'm gonna put a video of that thing up. His prototype is painted, completed, being road tested, racetrack tested pretty awesome so I'll, I'll do another video soon for that but we're back on the tesla pro mr2 project i'm here with brian and he's actively working on the computer now and trying to get the big scan file broken down he's actually taking it and splitting it up into smaller pieces so i can work with it that was my biggest problem um basically as I was trying to work on my computer with it, trying to move the Tesla motor around in the bay, the computer would just crash. And I just really need to get it exactly where I want it so I get the right axle angles, and then I can make my mounts, which is a pretty simple thing. I could, honestly, I could do it um, just on the lift here and just position it and everything. But I wanted to take an approach a little more sophisticated since I did all that work on the scans and everything. And I thought it was pretty cool. And then I could work with Eric Hux on exactly how we could, you know, make the mounts strong and everything. Um, here's another thing, walk over here real quick. Um, I got a pedal set up and I'll, I'll show you. Um, here's, I don't know if this is the part number, but I got this, it's a Toyota pedal and came with a pigtail. I'll link you in uh, the, the comments. I got it on eBay, or I'll link you in the description, sorry. And this adapter, this billet adapter is from, from Frankenstein, and I'll link his product page for that too. It's a really nice piece. Bolts right in for the MR2, that's another thing. And then I hear I got these uh, old innovative mounts that we will use just for mock-up before we go to the Hux Racing ones. That's it for this video. As you can see, we got the motor placed exactly where we want it. We have our axle angles set where we want them. I don't know if I included it in the video, but they're at about two and a half degrees pointed down. So that's really good. And they're almost straight across. I'm going to talk to Eric exactly if we want to tweak it or not. Eric from Hux, I should say. Um, the next step, and for the next video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make the mounts. So Eric's going to send me the plates that he uses when he's making his mounts for the 3S GTE or the K20. We're going to take those plates, bolt them up to the chassis, get the motor exactly where we want it, based on how we did it in the computer just now. And then we'll get some tubing, get it all fabricated. We'll have our mounts done, and then we could measure for our axles. I'll get those ordered, custom made, and we'll tell you exactly how we do that too and who we use. And then what I'm going to do is take those motor mounts, send them out to Hux, and he'll make his jigs and fixtures, and he'll go ahead and, and make something really strong and beefy for this thing because it's going to have a lot of torque, as we know. So um, that's pretty much where we're at. Thanks again for the patience of this project. I know I took a bit of a leave of, ax leave of absence, um, but, you know, a lot of stuff needed to get done at the shop with the carbon fiber and the Corso and all that stuff. And that's really exciting as well. So um, I actually just got back from the Bear Mountain meet um, that was up in New York for the MR2s. And I met a lot of you guys. And honestly, I had a lot, a lot of questions about this Tesla build. And that's why I'm doing this video today. I wanted to get it out there. I want to show everybody I'm still passionate about it. I'm still going. Um, I got some more products coming out for the MR2 soon, also with the carbon fiber. So that's exciting as well. And um, hopefully soon we'll have the mounts in, we'll have the axles on, and then we can figure out where we want to put our batteries. And that leaves basically just a, a, little, a little bit of work, honestly. Um, 
Brian and Rashad are really good at doing all the wiring and the controls for this stuff. So we're moving along. And um, I don't know if I've said it before, but this car, we're going to be focusing on drag. So we're going to put the weight pretty much uh, more forward than we normally would. Um, but this whole mount kit that we're going to make with Hux is going to leave you guys the option of putting batteries or whatever type of batteries that you want, kind of putting them where you want it to put the weight where you want it on these cars. You can do for a cruiser and you could do something for an autocross car or a road race car, or even something that you just want long range. So it's going to give a lot of options for this platform as far as what you can do with these cars. So like I said, this one's going to be drag racing. Hopefully we'll get it to the track soon. Um, I'm hoping next summer, you know, we'll have it all dialed in and I'm actually making some laps. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments or anything, put it down there. I'll be really happy to answer. Um, I really appreciate all uh, the support I get with this thing. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Also, I gotta tell you guys, check out the new XV Racing swag. This is awesome. Grannyshifters.com are the guys I have the shirts up there. I'm gonna link them. They're awesome. They do a really good job with these shirts and um, they look pretty awesome.